know you've been around these campaigns before. Um, I guess what changes now that um, you know you, your top dog head, head coach of the team? Oh, you just worry about a few more things than, than I used to when I was assistant coach. Uh, only worrying about the backs and didn't really care too much about the forwards. But you've got to worry about the about a lot. Uh, what, uh, nothing's really different. We've, we've prepared exactly, or you know, similar to how we've done the last few years. So um, once we get through today, it's just about the players turning up tomorrow night and performing. What do you like about the squad this year? Um, you know, it look, looks good as a whole. Um, there's a few young guys like Tom Christie and Brad Nenor, two young guys who could probably kick on again, have a good campaign. Yeah, I think we've got a really balanced squad. Um, you know, we've got a good mix of experience uh, and youth. And, you know, two of those guys you've just mentioned. But um, I suppose what we don't have is, is um, experience that's been together for three or four years that we've had in the past. So um, it's been interesting watching the group come together uh, over the three training days we've had this week. Phil Burley, a guy with a lot of experience. And what's he going to bring to, um, I guess, a pretty sort of crash bash uh, campaign like this? Oh, hopefully just a bit of calmness. Um, you know, you've just talked to him, he didn't have that sort of one level of emotion. Uh, I think he'll bring that, which is great. And, you know, outside of Young 10 um, and Brett Cameron and, you know, if Braden moves into 13, which he will do at some point, um, you know, just having an old head, an old calm head in between those two guys will be really valuable. Tasman, um, a, a team who's been really consistent the last few years, sort of that big brother, little brother rivalry. Uh, what are you expecting from them um, tomorrow night? Oh, I don't see it as a big brother, little brother rivalry anymore. You know, Tasman are, are um, you know, they're a beast now. They've, they've been playoffs the last four or five years, um, finalists three of the last four years. So, you know, they're a, they're a top side. Um, you know, we know with Leon they'll be well prepared. Um, you know, they've got a lot of super guys, a lot of guys that have just finished up um, here a couple of weeks ago. So, um, and, and there's history between Canterbury and Tasman. You know, two finals the last two years in a row. Um, you know, there's been some good battles over the years, so I expect this one to be no different. Was it a case of giving George Bridge a rest after such a big super campaign? Oh, look, he's had a big workload. Um, you know, highest minutes played in, in Super Rugby for the Crusaders, so, you know, we want George to be the best that George can be. Um, sometimes in order to do that, you just got to give him a wee rest. Did he want to play? George always wants to play. <laughs> is it, is it, is it going to extend beyond one week or you're not sure yet? No, I expect he'll be back on Monday, ready to train. Um, good timing for him, he's got an assignment due this week, so gives him a bit of downtime to get that done. Here in Ari, was he close or was he quite good? Uh, just not quite there, not quite there. We're, we're hoping again, you know, come Monday we'll know a little bit more and hopefully he'll be, he'll be uh, up for selection. Just thinking um, co-captains, Last time I can remember, it's probably dating back to when you were playing. Well, what's, your, what's your line of thinking? Um, partly is, well, Drummy's a natural leader in this group, um, but often when you wear the number nine shirt, you're not on. If you start, you're not on at the end of the game. Um, and just sharing the load between two natural leaders uh, just seemed the right mix for this group. Um, the more leaders we can have that are contributing, the better. So. You know, we've got two captains, two vice captains, and a, and a larger leadership group in behind that. So uh, I'm really comfortable with how that will flow this year. I guess there's a real freshness with Fetu's voice. Not too many of the guys would, would know him. I, I suppose. No, well, they don't know him well. They're, they're learning pretty quickly that is, um, you know, he, he's a fairly wise old man. Not that he's an old man. He's at 27, but um, you know, he's got that sort of air about him that you know just sort of demands respect. Um, I suppose he leads a little bit like Reuben Thorne used to lead. Uh, it doesn't say heaps, but when he says something, it, it packs a bit of a punch.